The Secret Life of Squirrels, a love story by Nancy Rose. Most squirrels spend their days scrambling up trees and searching for nuts. Not Mr. Peanuts, he's a rather unusual squirrel. Valentine's Day is coming soon. Mr. Peanuts enjoys decorating for the holiday. Nice job, Mr. Peanuts. But Valentine's Day can also be lonely. Mr. Peanuts wishes he could meet another unusual squirrel to celebrate with. Mr. Peanuts tries to distract himself by working in his shed but he can only think about how he would like to have someone to build something for. Shopping for food would be more fun if he were cooking dinner for a friend. Mr. Peanuts goes to the park, but he doesn't have a friend to play with. Oh no. Mr. Peanuts is sad. Being the only squirrel like him can be hard sometimes. Please don't cry, Mr. Peanuts. He can come to my house. On the way home, Mr. Peanuts stops at the neighborhood wishing well. Usually, Mr. Peanuts wishes for more acorns, but today he wants to wish for someone special. Whenever Mr. Peanuts is feeling especially lonely, he goes to the bookstore. That always cheers him up. Today he sees another squirrel reading his favorite book. My name is Rosie, she says. Do you love books too? Rosie! After they leave the bookstore, Mr. Peanuts and Rosie begin chattering about books and sunflower seeds. Finally, Mr. Peanuts has a special squirrel friend. Mr. Peanuts and Rosie go to the park to play hopscotch with their peanuts. It's easy to hop when you have four legs. No, Rosie, that nut is for playing, not eating. Squirrels are used to climbing trees, so climbing a swing set is easy. Mr. Peanuts decides to show Rosie his favorite game, jumping from trees. Look at Mr. Peanuts go! As the sun goes down, Mr. Peanuts realizes that he's absolutely nuts about Rosie. He loves Rosie. And the two squirrels come across another wishing well. Mr. Peanuts isn't sure what he'll wish for this time. Now that he's met Rosie, he has someone special. Then he gets an idea. Rosie, asked Mr. Peanuts, will you be my valentine? I will, chirps Rosie. I'm nuts about you. And they celebrate with a romantic candlelight dinner. Being in love makes this the best Valentine's Day ever. The end.